Legend of Total War here with part 25 of my Total War Warhammer 2 Let's Play campaign as the High Elves. Alright, so previously we've we've started the third uh, ritual and they immediately went and destroyed Hagrief and now they're besieging Nagarond. I think if I can get there in time I can stop the siege of Nagarond. Um, I'm going to have you occupy this. You are going to stand in front here. Defender of so they'll have to get through you to get to her. So luckily we've still got lots of population surplus, so it shouldn't take us too long to rebuild this. We're also um, re bringing back Cult of Pleasure to test to see where they'd be on here. What's Mazamundi doing? Can I no, I don't think so. If you win. I'm not going to have any of that. Public order here should be, yeah, it's maintainable. So over here, th okay, so good, now we can tax this. There was that black pyramid. I just realized we didn't build the, the structure that we needed there. Um, we'll need the public order more than we need the money, so get rid of that because there's the black pyramid of Nagash, providing us with Lord Recruit rank and magic resistance and hero recruit ranks. Plus more magic. Not that we ever really use magic anyway. Now, I was just reading some of the comments from episode 4, because I've released that now. And people will say, well, someone's saying that there is an agent apparently that reduces upkeep costs. Now, I would have fucking seen it by now if that was the case. And I can tell you, it's so scouting. No, that's corruption. Oh my god. Let me see. Don't see anything there. Hero. No, no. Because I, I've had mages before. Nobles. Secure. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's a, that's a target thing, so you have to do that to get more influence. Let me just let me just hire one and have a look at their abilities, because I never really got the nobles. I, I don't like on. agents in this game. You it's exactly the same attention. as Women 2. Let me just check. So, replenish troops, if it's in the army. Right, so that's a, that's a way to get influence. Nope. Nope, there's nothing in here that can uh, reduce upkeep costs. I think somebody's talking out their ass, as usually what you guys do. We are the guardians Let's have a look at the mages. They're all the same, all the, the difference is their um, abilities. Just pick someone, doesn't matter who. By the White Tower. Let's have a look at their abilities. Yeah, I thought so. And we've already we've gotten the the other ones. We've gone through the, all their abilities. So some people are just full of shit. Prince oh, Legion, hire an agent and attach him to an army, and it will reduce upkeep costs. A faithful servant. People who haven't even played the game yet, giving me advice when they have no fucking clue. Protect our wealth. So dumb. Like seriously, if you haven't played the game, shut the fuck up. Champion of the Ever Queen. 
If you played the game, sure, you can give advice. I mean, I don't want it, but you can do whatever you want. I serve the Phoenix King. So, no, what none of none of the people who have commented could have possibly have played the game at this this point. Obviously, when you're watching it now, you you've got you've you can you've got the game because this is episode 25. But I'm it's still still the 26th of September for me recording this right now because, like I said, I pre-record all the episodes. Guardian of the Phoenix. All right, so goddamn it, I hate it when people give advice and then I have to double check it. I'm just like, did I overlook something? And then I realized, no, I didn't overlook something. It's just you guys, once again, being fucking idiots. Alright. Alright, we didn't get there in time. Okay, the Skaven aren't making the attack, though. Uh, we'll give this a shot. I don't think we can win. But we'll give it a shot. But if it gets destroyed, we'll, we'll we'll take it back in time, so it's not a big deal. Now, I'm sure there'll be people saying, why didn't you keep a, an army near the settlement? Well, don't forget, we kept an army near the settlement. If, if only I could show you. The problem is we're playing a legendary campaign. I did this stuff on normal difficulty on... on, um... the Dark Elf campaign. I would put my armies near the, the ritual settlements, and, uh, you know, save it. And then call for the ritual, and then the Chaos armies showed up nowhere near the ritual settlements. And then I put them near where, you know, I'd load the save file, put my armies close to where they spawned, and then the armies spawn elsewhere. Basically, they spawn wherever your armies aren't. There is no way to predict where they're going to be. In fact, predicting where they're going to be is worthless. It doesn't do anything. I, like I said, I can't criticize Creative Assembly enough for such a such a slap in the face type mechanic. It's like fuck the player. That's all it is. It's very bad. They're losing they're losing points on their review from me because of that. A lot of points too because um, this is a pretty important part of the game. The uh, you know the whole point of this was you know the, to the the um, to do the um, the, the, the uh, portal conquest thing, and when they make it unenjoyable, then it, you could just do exactly what I've done in this campaign and just not do it at all. Just just play it like it's a regular campaign. Anyway, we'll do what we can here. Let's move on. We should take out the, uh, where's the hill cannon? Ah, oh, there it is. It was blocked by that thing. Couldn't see it. So we've got another one over there. There's a chance that we can win because they've got less troops this time. You two stand back, because what we can do is when they come in, we'll have these guys turn around and shoot the back. Put them in the back. Looks like we killed all the all the crew on that. Shoot the hell cannon. How is the gate open? That's weird, but it's actually good because they can't actually damage it while it's going on. All right. Uh, why well, I can't reach that? Didn't think to put units here because even if we did, they they've sort of snuck around. Go attack them, and you turn around here so you can shoot them. So 
they break through there. Nope. There's just things running around. What is this? Okay, that is almost gone. Hezwells are doing a horrible job in this one. It may actually stand a chance. Chaos Warriors. Oh, Chaos Warriors. You get up here. Get ready to help them. You two get off the wall. I don't want you getting in combat. Not until you've used up all your ammo. Yeah, shoot him. Get ready, you come over here, stand there, get ready to, to shoot these Chaos Trolls. We're just, the Chaos Trolls are just dicking around. That's not where I told you to go. Gotta keep shooting them. Don't let them get away. Yeah, I'll get the cavalry to run them down. Yeah, if you wanna keep shooting him, that's okay. Cavalry struggle with them. Turn around here. See if you can shoot down at them. Kill him. Okay, we need you over here to get shoot those chosen. Okay, looks like we're clear here. Get over this way. charge into them. It's one of these halberds. Yeah, they really shouldn't be fighting those. Stay back. Don't get in the way because these guys are shooting them. There's a chance we're going to win. Because their general has either died or left the battlefield. So that's not going to help their morale. Not that that's really going to be a massive problem when they've got like 7 tier experience. 
Order! Acknowledged, as you say. Moving out! The enemy! Silver helps! You will not stop us! Here. Yeah, charge into him. Hopefully, we can break him. Especially, got to get the back turned to us. Oh, I didn't turn around. Cycle charge. What are you doing? Yeah, cycle charge. Get back. Quick stand there, because they're just they're just sitting there doing nothing. You can use the tower to shoot him, even though you're out of ammo. This guy's still got ammo. You turn around over here. That was a bit of damage, not a lot. Yeah, turn around. Got a bit of ammo. If you can even just kill one of those chosen, it would help us out. Probably getting a little bit of friendly fire here. You're better off shooting these cows while we're I know they're elite units, but this is... It's not like these are shit units either. I mean, how many times do they want us to cycle charge? It's like I said, the cavalry is overly expensive and doesn't really do a lot in this game. I think the whole point of them was to look cool, to watch units fly across there, but really they haven't done much of more damage. Cycle charging. We go for duty. Oh, These guys just will not break. How's it going here? You still shooting that? Okay, well that's good. Stay there then. Still think we're gonna win, but it's, it's gonna be close. And if the rat. If the Skavens besiege the settlement, if they attack, we'll lose, but if they don't attack, we'll win. Because my army is right outside the city.
Guys, here seem to have done their job. Charge into them. Okay, looks like the battle's just about to run. I can't see that many more chaos soldiers around. I'm getting it under really long soldiers as well. Well, I've got left a bit of just my cavalry. Try to get rid of these Chaos Warriors. Break you shit. Surrender. Attacked in the flank, minus six. That's that's the problem with this. Flanking just doesn't do anything. It's only it's only good for killing weak units. Silver health. Yep. But run these fuckers down so they stop coming done. back. I think, I think we pretty much got this now. We can just use it multiple speed. Big old grinder. Just finished the last of them. Oh, they just keep coming back. This is dumb. And of course, the cavalry, one of their main jobs is to run down enemy units and they, they do a terrible job of it in this. There's in my white lions. Wait, what is that called? Yeah, white lions of trace. Yeah, 
I'm gonna recapture this. He's reasonably good at taking out uh, heroes. See, there's a full unit of Chosen that never got up because it got stuck. What are we supposed to do about that? Whoever kills him is going to get a lot of experience. Okay, good. Enemy Lord is dead. I right, charge into them. I think we got lucky on this battle. I didn't expect to win it. I also think it's glitched out. Okay, oh, they're coming back down off. So I want to lure them down here to get shot by this. Chase me. Finally. Just yeah, run him down. I don't want to have to fight them again. Big old pain in the ass, but I'm glad we won. So it was worth fighting. I thought it was Lost most of my forces, but it still gave me heroic victory. So they're no threat now. And if he doesn't launch the attack, good, we got him. Wait to etiquette. Right. Um, off the large gift, yep. Not that we need any more influence, but uh, it looks good to have a lot. Defender of the Ever Queen. Tell me money. A strong leader is needed. Subjugate them. Alright, so that's the scape of one done. And both of these are gone as well. They, My they can't prowess escape. is needed. Duty right. is its own rule. So once again we just lose one settlement. Garrisoning. But now we've got a new army, Princess maybe. Of the maybe they'll be able to do something. But it's just got a shit general in it. Oh, it doesn't matter. Wait, it was it a good one or a shit one? I can't remember. Now that's exactly the garrison I, I put in there. I was just hoping for more. Oh, I've got to go get the Dark Crag again. That was that was worth a lot of money, but that one. Oh, well, luckily, like I said, we, we do have a lot of uh, growth. We're under siege. Now, if we were to sell the out here, Order. we would lose. Let them lose. The Asua uh. need. We want them to take it. It 
they're not on here. Can't negotiate with this faction. Galroth, that's not Morathi. We'll give them a turn or two and we'll just see what happens. But I'll, otherwise I'll just take it back. So it seems like you can't bring back someone that you've eliminated from, from, from this. I mean, maybe we have to experiment that with, um, with Nagarond. I'd have to destroy a lot of buildings to, to see that happen. I'm not. I'm not going to bother anymore with that. It's it's too time consuming. Let's just do the the last of these and then be done. I don't even think I need these anymore. Yeah, no, I don't need it. Bye bye. And goodbye. Yep. Warden of Safari. Right. So in terms of cult of pleasure returning, let's just get rid of them. Protect our old forms. So we fight. We can replace it. Take whatever you can. Down to level three. That stinks a bit. But I don't know, we got this back. And it shouldn't take us long to build it back up again either. See which regions aren't being taxed. So the spine of Sotek can now be taxed. Cool. And now we just build everything up and get through this, and then we can finish off the campaign. If we move quickly, we might be able to finish it off this episode. It depends on how much trouble the Chaos Scum give us. Wait, hang on. Destroyed that for a reason. Oh, I can issue with some rights. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Alright. I don't know what he's doing over here, but it's time for it to stop. For the king! You've got a designated area in Jurassic Park, okay? You're you're out of here. Going for your command, setting up garrison. Lady of the Phoenix Court. We'll get him next time. Zultma! How the f Oh, right, sorry, I wasn't looking in the right area. Um, Protector of the Everqueen. I think they want to get sacked. Destruction abounds! this. Now, just going back to um, Tyrion, because we need to give him the best equipment because uh, he'll be doing the the final battle. The servant of the king. Which, by now, you guys probably know, it's the final battles against the Skaven. They're the true enemy in this one. So that's a talisman, right? So this one gives him 20%, but he gets Seed of Rebirth from here. Right, 
Take care, Mazda Mundi. Big fat jab of the hut. Oh, wait. That's for next turn. He can't escape this now. Once again, I forgot to bloody finish off what I was doing. Ah, uh, but he, they've started a new ritual. Ah, uh, you fools. What's this? That. Oh, that's for them. Right, I was like. Shield against the yeah, no, okay. So we wait for them to die. So I'm not going to take you out, Master Mundi. Wait, yeah, and then we, we put a stop to them. So how many have we got now? 13. 180% extra. It says it costs 278,000, so something's, something's not quite right there. And that was a bit of a waste of time, wasn't it? But it was worth, it was worth having a bit of a look. It's probably that you have to actually restore the, the major one, but then again, we tried to restore the major one down here, and that didn't work. Once again, fucking... Okay, got to remember to do this. Of course, it loads it. Finish them off. Okay, first thing we do this time. I put both out. I law master. Tremble before me. My powers are needed here. Well, that doesn't really need any more experience. Don't do that. I think getting the money with this for five turns of reduced replenishment is not that good. Now is not the time. Right, that's the last of my chaos invasion, and then there's two more turns, and then we're done. So how's it going over here for them? I need them to repel this before I um, before I take the settlement away from them. If you take that, then I said I don't care. Whatever. Again, no, I don't really care. All right, cool. If that's where they want to, if, well, Jurassic Park is basically here now. Tyrion will sort that out. So hopefully they, at the very least, weaken this. Because how long have we got? We got eight turns to sort that out. It's gonna end turn. This could be a long episode, like up to two hours, but I probably will finish it on this one. They went and did it for me. Bell Cordatris. The Scholar King. His knowledge bequeathed to those who searched. Including where the third shard lay. And how to slay the worm that haunted it. Be gone! Servant of chaos! Strike, Gallifreyus! Time 
is against us. There are others that perform their own rituals of dominance over the Vortex. So we're exactly up to where they are here, but this is my concern. That these guys are actually going to lose the campaign. That's it, they're going to die. It looks like one of the armies of chaos was destroyed. We will drive the Lustrians back. Very well. Just uh, wait a little bit before making that attack. But what, what are we going to do here? So, Lothurn, Hexavital, Nagarond. So we got two armies out here. Don't expect them to show up in Nagarond this time. We got no one in Hexavital. So expect them to show up there. Got someone down here. He needs to get moving. Oh, we've got this person as well. Let's get in position before we do this. Public order will be fine. Instability will go down, everything will go, go back to normal. It'll be fine. So what's he got? He's he's just got a bunch of trash, but this army here is a bit damaged. Hopefully Croc Guard. Hopefully these guys here can at least do a bit of damage to him. I can't do anything to it. Right, let's move on. If they end up losing that other settlement... I'll get out of here. If they attack, they'll lose. of Tuskers has defenses there and of course he's just got garbage he needs to be focusing on this not on me awaiting orders we're safe to take this Yeah, they're, they're being really silly. Just all over the place. If he attacks, we'll defeat him. I'm not sure. I, I need to decide whether or not we even want to defeat him because we can't let them die or else we don't get the option to do this. Alright, so this is still the same region. Let's get started on this now. The ritual is underway, my lord. Even working together, it will take Ooh, do they show up in Nagarod? Some time to complete. Such is the ritual's power that the great vortex itself distorts under its pull. Be wary, though, for while the Vortex is weakened, the forces of chaos will uh, slip into this world. Are they always going to show up in Nagaron now? For they will doubtless be drawn to the I'm glad my army's are here. Because with my army's here, they don't stand a chance. Let's see what we can do to uh, lightning strike them. I serve the Phoenix King. Skaven aren't that much of a concern. The, the Chaos Forces are. Has their forces here? Have they recovered? Yep, and they've got some experience now, so they'll be a little bit better. Moving off. Protector of Yuri Fair! The Asa needs. Easily replace him. My strength is rewarded. 
defender of the Ever Queen. None shall live. I will lead the Ascent. And honor. Can I offer you a second some experience as well? By the gods! The Kadai watch over us. Poeth guides me. The greater good has triumphed. Mm, Another time to do it any battle kindly right now. Prince of Alpha. No mercy. A strong leader is needed. A just reward. Lady of the Phoenix Court. Onward. I go. She needs a to strike. Highborn. Ethan. So we fight. Like I said, the, the Skaven are not a big threat. We gotta take out the Chaos Forces. A triumph for old boys. Mm. Now is not the time. I serve the Phoenix King. I can still make one more Moving attempt, out. but I need you to force me. If I put you in force march and send you to Nagarond, I think that might be the best option. Entering the garrison. I put you on force march, you get we back to Hagrid. Your command. Now there's probably gonna be an interventionary force show up over here. But it'll be okay. Go to richer settlements. Okay, so I was curious to know if if the the ritual sites would always be the richest of my settlements. Nagaron's definitely up there. What's my home region called? Straits of Lothurn, five thousand. Castles. Clicked on just then. Well, it's always going to be at the capital, but if we look at Hexawaddle, where's that? It's it doesn't make that much money at all. Why doesn't it make much money? Oh, uh, because it's not particularly hospitable. Right, because it lowers, lowers income. I understand, isn't it? Command me. Okay, still curious as to what's going on over here. Deal, we'll put an end to that. That doesn't look like a desperate one, it looks like a pretty basic one. They split their forces up. A good move, in my opinion. Direct me. I will see to it. The Asa needs. A little bit of damage, but we're okay. Come down here and lift this siege. Attack! The Asa follows. And then we've got like eight turns now for them to rebuild their forces. Asa lady, 
A wise course. Urifair! Asura to battle. We march. I'm waiting. Entering the city. Let's go back to Nagar. Setting up Garrett. And we'll recruit the new units next time. Glory to the king! I will give you victory. Good. You know, I've almost got half a mind to let them have this. Just because they need to deal with this out here. I don't want to hurt them. The Asa are ageless. I was a Sally out here. Attack! We're under siege. Okay, we'll just wait for them to make the attack. We'd we'd win against that. Phoenix throw. You don't Garrison. even need to be moved. You just stay right there. And let's just move on. Don't worry about unassigned skill points. Let's just move on. I mean, it's all just, it's just dirty skinks. We've got a dragon in here as well. What are they going to do about that? Alright, first they get everyone off the wall. Actually put the archers up on there. Without fail. We will obey. We need the melee up here. Don't think we should send the horse archers out. They just stay here and shoot them or whatever. So this is a moon dragon. Not sure if this is going to be that useful, so I'll, I'll keep keep you there. All right. With the dragon, let's go and breathe some fire on somebody that can't fire back. Before. So these are skinks with javelins, so they're slightly better than regular skinks. But that being said, the javelins aren't that strong. I'm sure you'll be fine. Go breathe some fire on them. Shoot anything, shoot over there. Okay, you get, you're gonna have to shoot from a different angle. This isn't working. Okay, just pull them back. Dragons fight really well up on the walls. Come over here. Okay, 
I don't particularly want my archers getting shot. So get off. I'll send the eagle over there. I don't want my archers getting killed. Oh, this is a shot. Who are you? Get up here and help. Oh, I should heal. Can I reach it from here? Can't reach it. Can heal the dragon. I'll send it back over there for healing a bit later on. Shoot them as they come in here. Archers. Go. I think this is a good idea. Yeah, I didn't see it do much damage, but it was alright. Job of healing. We'll have plenty of magic, so that's not going to be a concern. Right, shoot, shoot them. They, they couldn't get a good shot on. These guys here aren't really doing anything. Plum down here. Get, get them to fight. Probably have to shoot my own archers here, but. Oh well. At least we can get rid of these skinks. He's not going to be able to capture that, that very quickly. Hopefully, he just sits there. Can I get them to run them down? Don't just stand there. He probably heals as well. You, you come back over here. I want you to shoot him. That's probably the only reason why they they've got a chance on this is, is him, but and he's he's being stupid. Just like this guy is, not running them down. Okay, dragon, get over here. I need you to um fight him, but I want you to get a bit of a heal first. Actually, I'll heal Eagle first. Protect those archers. Good, they're actually doing a good job now. Don't let them capture this. Shoot them because otherwise they're just going to come back. Okay, 
heaps of magic, so we're going to keep healing for quite a while. They can use up all their ammo and do like hardly any damage to him. Okay, hopefully that dragon keeps him in combat. I need the archers to shoot. He's going to call him Grendel. Oh, he didn't change his mind. As you said, attack! Open me! Awaiting orders! Okay, we seem to be done here. White lions! Understood! He's in combat now. Don't get shot by javelins. We'll take him out. I haven't been that Kano, probably give the dragon a hard time. Capture this. Maybe this won't be the final episode because this battle's taking quite a while, and I imagine there's going to be a few of these kind of battles. Unless we auto resolve them, just let the Empire go to shit. I think we've got a good chance of victory. Oh god damn it. Archers! Let them shoot the dragon. The Sphinx are really giving the dragon a hard time. The dragon's just too slow. I don't have anything that's going to be like armor piercing to get rid of it. Cavalry, yeah, take out, take out these because it's hurting my damn dragon. I could still technically heal it to full if you get enough of these shots in. Victory's in our grasp, okay, that's good. He's kind of face. Oh, gets out of there too quick. Oh, decided not to fight. What's he doing? He's not running away. Kill him. He's so silly. It's because they're on guard mode, right? Huh? And he's really tanky. He's gonna have a hard time moving through all this cavalry now. There we go. I mean, he can't die because we know he's immortal, but at least he won't command for a, f a few turns. Get through these 
get through this uh, this campaign on this episode here. So that gives me like half an hour if, it's, if you want to keep it within half time. I don't know. Let's speed up. Or if you can just tell Lizard Man, stop fighting me. Go, go deal with your chaos. Yes. They're on the way. So now you gotta. Oh, wait, you actually survived. Oh. It's fine. So we've eight turns left of this. Just. Yeah, let them have it. I mean. This is the one that they need, right here. And then when they start another ritual, we'll just take something off them. Oh, I just realized. Gotta, gotta get recruiting on that other army at uh, Nagarond. Might send another army up to Nagarond, because it seems like that's where the, the enemy are showing up. And next time they won't show up that way. I serve the Phoenix King. Guardian of the Phoenix Crown. Okay, that's good. So they've lost another settlement to the Chaos Invasion. They should be able to stop it though, because that Chaos Invasion should be pretty damn exhausted now. And if he was to attack another one of my settlements, and if, if the Chaos Invasion did manage to defeat them, then I will. Oh, they defeated Mazda Mundi. Here and have a look at what they're up to. Can't see it there. Good, they managed to get rid of us. I think it's a bit risky to go and capture that right now, so you just encamp out here. It's a crop gun. I just, yeah, just ignore it. Stay. You, right, you stay here and just encamp, and you stay in the settlement there. Entering the city. I serve the Phoenix. Oh, come on. No, I don't need that. Let's move on. Right. 
Alright, it'll be a few more turns before they give it a, another shot. Just leave them alone in the meantime. So, with this, I'll actually be ahead of them, finally. Shannar, the explorer. As he used the stars to navigate the world, their light shone upon the king's lost vessel. There, Gallifreys! I see it! The fourth shard of the Star Crown was found within. Thanks to the Phoenix Kings, the Star Crown is near complete. But there is one who is yet to be evoked. The first, the greatest, the Doom. Now this next one takes 20 turns to do, but... Shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, it's just basically burning through end turns now. So where are they going to be? Where's the next saddle? Magarot. The ritual is underway, my lord. I hope the chaos Even forces are harder than that here this time. take your greatest adept some time to complete. Such is the ritual's power that the great vortex itself distorts under its pull. Be wary, though, for while the vortex is weakened, the forces of chaos will slip into this world. Run Many too far away. Defenses, for they will doubtless be drawn to the ritual's power. It's only Skaven this time. So, where was it? Over here. This little forest. So that looks like six armies. So on normal difficulty, it's six armies as well. It's just, you know, more difficult to fight than on normal difficulty. Alright, let's get our guys together over there. Uh, not too close because they can ambush us. Dispatch me. Entering the garrison. Prime for action. Just ignore them. Yeah, so no chaos this time, it's just Skaven. Um, I mean, we wouldn't stand a chance, but this is the, this is the final wave, let's deal with it. This might end up being a two hour episode. Because we can auto resolve it and just wait for our armies to, rep, to show up. And just get rid of them that way. Or we could fight, well the thing is they've got six armies. I'll need to f I need to fight this battle quickly. Like, it doesn't matter if I don't do a fantastic job. I just don't want this to take too long. Like they'll they'll ne they're not even close to any of my settlements that they need to be to get to. So let's just set up, shoot them down a little bit, and then whatever. So I'm not really going to try too hard to win it. I just want this done quickly. I just know that if we order resolve it, the damage is is going to be pretty severe, and we're not going to do much damage to them. If 
you guys could take out their catapults. If you had to fight them on the field, their catapults are by far the most difficult thing to deal with. Take out their specialist units. Like this motherfucker here, if we can. So it's dead. Something. It wouldn't have died in the order resolve, that's for sure. Also, they can't replenish their forces, so every battle they, they weaken themselves. Okay, I'm surprised we're actually still doing reasonably well. Because their first wave, they're like, they sent the first wave, and that seems to be failing, and then the second wave is still getting organized, getting shot to shit by my towers. You get over here, try and recapture this tower here so we can continue shooting. Don't let this tower over here fail. worthless infantry. One tower still functioning. Okay, I'm starting to get overwhelmed now. Because otherwise they're just getting you general. Gonna be here charging with this.
There we go. Army loss penalty just inflicted. Too many of them. We knew we were going to lose. Even if I put in 100% effort, we still would have lost that. But we would have done more damage. It doesn't matter. Like I said, I don't, didn't want to spend half an hour on that battle. We got all their units at full experience as well. Which doesn't matter for our armies of uh, mostly archers. So, Bulls and Bull. Oh, I like this settlement. Yeah, I'm not going to fight this one manually. Yeah, do you see the difference there? That means all my upkeeps increased by 10%. Big drop in income, but we're still in the green. Ah, we're still out of range. Okay, spend a turn in Clark Corrond. We really gotta watch out for their attacks, because um, when I played on normal difficulty, they pretty much ambushed, attacked every single time. The problem here is that they don't have any settlements for us to hit. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how much damage they do out here, it really doesn't. So it's up to these three to stop them. Do you just go away? What a turd. Definitely take out one of their armies, so it'll slow them down. Princess, for the Ever Queen. One down. For Astorian. One down, five to go. So now it's three versus five armies. Your command, Princess of the Astorian. Can you reach him? Yep. None shall live. So we fight. A few casualties, but that's okay. We can recover them afterwards. We don't actually need them after this. Treading lightly. So that means they have three armies down. You know, I don't know. We we'll figure it Guardian out. Of the Phoenix Prince of Can't quite reach them. You may approach. Just stay Entering there. The city. Defender of the Phoenix Throne. What's going to be annoying is that they've, On my way. they're going to start the next ritual and because they're not the building gods. up their economy or, or doing anything important, they're they just ruining settlements, they're, um, they're not going to be able to handle it. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. Yeah, fucking ambush. Told you. They're almost every single time will ambush us. But if this is two or three armies, we should be able to handle it. Oh. Yeah, it's by far the most annoying wave. Ah, uh, this is the, the fifth wave. What we're on now. Okay, enemy reinforcements are coming from over there. Uh, we, we've essentially in a corner camp position. Dragon, dragon, go and take out that. Okay. I want some of you to block the pass up this way. Duty. 
Gotta run as poison. We've done a little bit of damage, there's nothing major, but I gotta stop these play claws. By far the worst things we're gonna fight here. What's that? Doom wheel. They're gonna take too long to get over here. Run off those uh, play claw catapults. If we could finish them off for good, that would be preferable. Okay, let's go. Because it's shattered and it's it's gone, so that's good. Even if we lose the battle, it's gone. Turn around. Assyrian guides us. They're gonna have a hard time getting through that. We have bloody bed. Archers, kill them. The enemy is, as you say, by Alario. No, come on, move over here. Don't worry about them. They're, they're done for now. What's this? Warp lightning cannon. Take it out. I need you to come over here and re reinforce this line. Start moving a little bit over in this direction because this is where the bulk of the force is coming now. Okay, archers, you can now turn around, and face this way. Yeah, a lot of storm vermin coming in here, but our guys are holding out really well. Prince of one. I think you should be able to take on that that bell. I don't know what. I don't even know what that does. It looks like the sort of thing that a dragon should be able to handle. Maybe get rid of the warp fire throwers instead. Yeah, this isn't good. Get, get it out. This is a mistake to come here. Because they're just shooting at dragons. are very weak to getting shot. Might want a few archers, just two, to turn around and deal with the warp fire throwers. You know what? I'll put it there for that. Whoop. 
throwing throwers are gone. We get the gutter runners now. Actually, go for the. Because uh, they're almost out of ammo. They're not, not doing that much damage. I'll use the uh, flame shot when we get. This is gonna sting. There's no time to get him out of there. Shouldn't be in a big clump like that. Okay, you guys aren't even shooting, turn around and shoot. Artillery have done a great job of me on this battle. Unit, units should stand behind fresh units. I'm already doing that. Okay, it doesn't look like there's much left. Expect the enemy to be running away soon. I told you their armies don't don't compete with us. They had three armies against us. Just 162 men. The only thing that's a concern is their artillery. We've seen what that does to us. This army here got completely wiped out. Same with that. So that's that's three down now. Probably could win this. Should we fight it? You know what? We'll end the episode here. I reckon we'll get an hour episode out of the next one, and I'll fight this battle um, manually. See if we can beat it. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe. Part 26, which is probably going to be the final episode, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.